Hi dear students. Let's see this question that came in J Advanced Paper 2 Physics in the year 2019. One of the easiest questions in the whole paper. This was from the topic of kinematics and was based on numeric type marking scheme. Most of the students would have done this question quite comfortably. So let's see what's happening over here. A ball has been thrown at an initial speed of u0 at an angle of theta and it keeps on bouncing for large number of times. It has been given that for the first projectile motion, that means from here till here, the average speed is v1 and for the entire journey, the average speed is 0.8 v1. Using this data, we have to find the value of alpha where alpha is the factor by which speed decreases after every bounce. The angle of uh, projection or we can say angle of rebound or whatever uh, is same theta 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 it remains the same using this data we have to find the value of alpha alpha is the factor by which speed is decreasing after every bounce so very easy question so for the end for the first part of the motion for the first projectile motion the average speed was v1 which anyway will be u cos theta only u naught cos theta because for the first part the there is no uh, in the projectile motion there is no displacement happening in the y axis and uh, in the x axis speed will be constant from here till here which we can also write range r naught upon time t naught okay which is r naught is this and t naught is this time now it is easy to see that what is range range is u square sine 2 theta by g now theta is not changing g is not changing u has become 1 by alpha times so can we say that here range will become range is proportional to u square so range will become r naught by alpha square similarly here it will be r naught by alpha to the power 4 and so on and so forth so the total range of the entire journey will be r naught into 1 plus 1 by alpha square plus 1 by alpha to the power 4 and so on and so forth divide by total time of flight time of flight is proportional to u to u sin theta by g theta is not changing so time of flight if the initial time of flight was t naught that means for the first projectile motion the time of flight was t naught then for here this will be t naught by alpha this will be t naught by alpha square right so 1 plus 1 by alpha plus 1 by alpha square and so on and so forth this was given as 0.8 v1 right so r naught t naught this is v1 so we can say that this the ratio of these two gps is 0.8 now it's pretty easy the first infinite gp has a common ratio of 1 by alpha square so we can write that a upon 1 minus r divided by this has a common ratio of 1 by alpha so a upon 1 minus r so this you can write 1 a minus b into a plus b so that will that will become 1 minus 1 by alpha into 1 plus 1 by alpha 1 minus 1 by alpha will be cancelled out so this will become 1 upon 1 plus 1 by alpha which is 0.8 which means 1 plus 1 by alpha is uh, this is 8 by 10 so 4 by 5 since 5 by 4 okay so what do we get 1 by alpha is 1 by 4 and we, that means alpha is 4 so again you can see it was a very very simple question and most of the students would have done it comfortably that's it thank you